coming and, and thanks for coming and, and I'd like to really uh, uh, repeat my thanks for the people who've taken a day off of work to come to the Capitol and be citizen lobbyists. Lobbyist many times is kind of a bad word, but um, citizens have an opportunity to actually have an impact on our democratic process and we're very pleased that we have so, so many people who decided to turn out today and help us with these important issues. Um, the uh, events of the last couple of weeks have shown us that the Marcellus Shale gas drilling has, has, brings a lot of hazards to the state of Pennsylvania. And we've got to make sure that this resource, which is going to produce a lot of wealth, uh, we've got companies here that are coming to Pennsylvania investing billions of dollars to get a stake in what they know is going to be a highly profitable enterprise. We need to make sure that we get the rules right at the start of the growth of this particular industry. What we are saying to the gas drillers is, welcome to Pennsylvania, but pay your fair share and play by our rules. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about three things to our uh, elected officials today. We're going to be asking our elected officials to pass a severance tax uh, that's, this, that's, a, that's similar to ones in place in almost every other state with uh, substantial gas resources. Uh, and we want to see a significant portion of that money be, to be dedicated to environmental purposes, to the Environmental Stewardship Fund, which funds Growing Greener. Growing Greener is running out of money, and this is a way to replace it to make sure that we get good local, continue to get good local projects on the ground that improve the environment, improve communities, and bring money into local communities. We also want to see um, the moratorium on uh, further leasing of public forest land uh, passed in the Senate. That was passed out of the House by a healthy bipartisan vote. It's now over in the Senate. We'd like to see the Senate act on it. I believe uh, Senator Dalen Leach, who is with us today, will also be introducing a companion bill there, and we urge passage of the uh, moratorium on further leasing of state land for drilling in the Senate. And third, we're going to be talking about the need to make sure that the regulations that are moving through the regulatory process that would protect our streams and rivers from uh, gas well uh, drilling wastewater actually go through the whole process and get implemented as soon as possible. What that rule would do would, would establish a protective stream level for uh, how much uh, pollution from those gas wells could be present in streams and then require gas uh, drillers to treat their wastewater if they choose to discharge it into our streams and rivers to drinking water standards. It's an important um, piece of what we need to do to make sure that we've got the rules and regulations in place um, to uh, allow the drilling to go forward in a responsible manner and make sure that our natural resources and our drinking waters uh, are protected.